I'm Panayotis. I come from Greece and I'm a civil engineer. When I, I decided to study civil engineering, for me it was more like a decision that fitted, let's say, to my talents in school. I always loved applied physics and mathematics and I thought that civil engineering is a great place to apply this. And then soon in my studies I realized that actually conventional civil engineering is not really that what makes me happy. So I was always a very good student, but it's a different thing being a good student and really find your passion. So I wanted to have more physics in uh, what I'm doing every day. Sometimes during the studies we tend really to focus too much on the problems that we have in our domains. And uh, sometimes the same problems can be solved much easier if we apply tools from other domains. ETH provide me all the tools I needed for this. And I would summarize it in three things. Inspiring people working around me. All available resources to study what I love and opportunities to explore my talents. And this is where I found vibrations and analyzing vibrations something very fascinating because everything vibrates in our universe and the way that things move and vibrate is not just random. Buildings do not live forever. They are not designed to live forever. And uh, in our case, in Europe, already a big part of the existing inventory has reached this expiration date. Now, the problem is that we don't really know what material was used 50, 60, 100 years ago, how this material changed along the time, and how actually, uh, how far we can trust it. So recent bridge collapses in Italy, in the United States, and in other countries in the world demonstrate that we fail to manage the risks in our built infrastructure. So in this regard, my PhD focuses on ways to provide the diagnostic tools for engineers so they can reliably extend the service life of our buildings and bridges without compromising safety. I have been a lot of years in the universities. I studied for five years in Greece, and two years uh, for my master's at ETH, now I'm another four years as a PhD student. Uh, the things that I would do differently, of course, would be to explore the opportunities that the university gives outside the curriculum ways to cooperate with people, with students from other disciplines, and I would really, really hunt inspiring professors. Because what we need is just inspiration and hard work, and then we can do miracles.